Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is The Real Senior Stoner back at you. And I want to do a quick comparison video for everybody on some things that I really like that might help us get through limited supply. Local dispensaries have put out a lot of information in New Jersey. Flour is hard to get. It has to be grown, takes time, and they didn't expect the rush they're having. What do they have a lot of? cartridges. Many dispensaries around the country, I expect, are going to be left with a lot of cartridges. Now, you have to make sure you're buying them from a reliable source. Do not buy them on the black market. Do not buy cartridges on the black market. Let me see. Did anybody hear me? Do not buy cartridges on the black market. What you have to do is get a trusted source or a dispensary who actually with legal documentation certifies what's inside their cartridges. Once you do that, you will be able to have one of the more efficient methods for medicating. Not going to taste the same. Maybe it's not going to medicate us as well as the flour we're used to. But what it's going to do is keep us calm. Remember, there's a supply of cartridges at most dispensaries, even if they're short on flour. Let's talk. I use three main batteries for cartridges, starting with the vessel, by vessel. You want to go out, Chuggy? Go ahead. Go. The vessel is a designer battery. I bought it because it looked good. The unfortunate thing is it has a proprietary battery charger. So without that, you can't charge this puppy. It looks really pretty. Very nice device. I like it because... It's a screw in and screw out. I fill my own, as you know, but why are these things going to be important? These things are going to be important because they're variable voltage. You can get a really strong hit on them. Really strong. So you can make your dollars go a further way and you can make your medicine go a further way. Most dispensaries count cartridges at a higher rate than they do flour because it's concentrate. But with these types of batteries, you'll be able to have your medicine last longer. With, with this trouble we're having in the world right now, it's going to be about making things last longer. Let's go to the Picket One. The Picket One is a really, really thick piece of metal, fits right in the palm of your hand, that uses a magnetic adapter for a C-cell cartridge. Pops right in. Very easy button to adjust temperature. Very easy auto draw. Has to pre-warm pre a little bit. Once it does, an amazing product again. These are the key to a world that's more complicated because it simplifies things. Simplifies things. I don't want to tell you how many cartridges I have in stock. The point is we calm down if we realize we have our medication. So find a way to go through everything you have. See if you can make it last longer. Cartridges are a great way. This is the pure by Kind Pen. Another variable voltage battery product that fits right in the palm of your hand. And delivers a nice knockout punch with variable voltage. The choice you need to make on these devices is do you want something that's going to look like a pen and fit in your pocket like this? Or do you want something that's going to be small and very light? Very light. Or do you want something that's going to be heavy, like a solid piece of metal, but also small? Remember, they do the same job. It's about which one you want to have. The juice, the juice, for me, 
is in a syringe, but the juice for many of you would be in a cartridge that you would buy at a dispensary if they're out of flour. I hope you all enjoyed this comparison of these three batteries and a great way to be more efficient with our medic medication in a difficult time. Cheers.